Hi everyone, it's Deborah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a page in my art journal. And I'm just going to do one today. I'm not following a challenge or anything because I was doing a demonstration of these walnut crystals and I have something left over so I thought I'd make use of that in my art journal. These are the walnut crystals that I was using to do a demo. They're just a bunch of crystals inside a little jar and I mixed up a bit too much so I wanted to make something with it. I've got some muslin here that's already had some dye and stuff put on it. It's actually, sorry, calico this one. It's canvas from an art supply place that I happen to have left over. So I wanted to put some of this onto this page. So I'm just gonna rip some off. Leave all those lovely threads. Look at that, that's lovely. And I also have some muslin that I want to use as well. I like to use muslin in my art projects. I think that it's um, really cool stuff to actually use. So I thought that I would start by laying some of this down on the page. I'll just put some across the top here. It's about at the one third mark, so I'm breaking the page up by one third, two thirds, which is your, your typical sort of art, visually pleasing look. Hopefully at the end of the day, it'll be visually pleasing. And I might put another piece up the top here as well. This time I'm putting, probably not that big blob, I'll cut that off and move it to the edge and then put these down so that they hopefully will stick somewhere around here. Okay, hopefully that's what will happen. And now I wanna cut some of this muslin and lay it down as well. Muslin I find is a bit harder to actually tear because it's so woven and it's a, such an open weave that it really won't tear very well but it cuts well if you just roll it up like this because it's thin it will cut apart quite easily and you can get some nice shapes and things doing that too that's what i'm looking for here some nice shapes whether i get any it's another thing and then just pull it so it works really well, it reacts well to being tugged at and kind of pulled apart a bit. That's what I'm doing here. See how I'm moving those fibres to create that really open weave? That's what I love about it. And I'm only sticking it down a little bit. I'm not fully gluing it down to the whole page. Just tease this one out a little bit too to create those strands and threads that I like so much. Put that up there. Now I'm going to put down some of those walnut crystals, the liquid that I've got. I do want this to stick a little bit more, so I'll put a bit more glue down on there. And hopefully the plan will work. <laughs> brush and I'm just going to brush this on up the top here. And I want to let it fall down the page. I actually want to rub it over. Sorry if you can't see that but I need to tip my page a little bit to make the walnut crystals, the liquid run down the page. and onto the muslin and the canvas as well. There it 
goes now. It's run. Just encourage it a little bit with your brush to get it to run down. Just grab a paper towel to, so it doesn't run too much off onto the table. I've got this piece here in the bowl which is really, really dark where the crystals have come and stuck on the side of the of the bowl as I was mixing it. that up a little bit more, let those bits run a bit more. I have a couple of tags that I've done with the crystals as well that I wanted to put down on the page. And these are baseboard dolls which I think that might look really nice on here. I'm not sure yet. I'm just going to lay some down and see what I can make out of them. Sit that little girl up there on the ledge. This is an archival ink in black soot that I'm just prepping this stamp with. I haven't used that stamp before, so I don't know what it's going to be like. It's just a row of stitches, big stitches. And this is another stamp I've got. It says, remember. I'm going to just see if I can get this on somewhere. It's not quite going on, A, because it's wet, and B, because this little girl's on here. So she's going to come off temporarily, and I'm going to dry it and stamp it. I've just inked the top part of the stamp to try and get this on now that I've dried that, and removed that little girl so that hopefully it will stamp all right. Yeah, there you go. I've popped some washi tape down on there because it was a bit too dull and the washi tape's got lots of red in it so I thought that that would be cool to put that down there. And now I think one of my Tim Holtz Small Talk stickers would be perfect for this. I've got one here. It's always the small pieces that make the big picture. I think that's perfect. And it's long, which is what I wanted, and I'll put it down the bottom here. There you go. And that's my page done. This is Deborah. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.